Hello everybody, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. In today's video, we're excited because this is the first installment of our new adventure. Yeah, our Hawaiian series, is that what we're calling it? I don't know what we're calling it. Our Hawaiian adventure? Yes. I don't know. We're going to Oahu, as you saw in our big announcement, it was a few videos ago, if you haven't seen that, we'll put the video up above <laughs> and below. Uh, we are going to Oahu, Hawaii. We're going to Alani Disney's resort, and we're gonna explore the island. And uh, we booked this trip before the whole lockdown, but we, we're still going on it. And you're gonna see today in today's video, the whole process of traveling during a pandemic. Like, what is it like to travel to Hawaii during this weird time, which includes us getting... We have to get a COVID test. That should be fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> who, who doesn't love like things going up noses? Right? Yeah, so trigger warning, there will be stuff up our nose in this video. Yeah, it's kind of funny though. <laughs> and then you also see the process of us going to the airport and the airplane, like, is it busy? What's that process like? Is it scary? Was it less scary than we thought? All, you'll see everything up until us renting a car in Hawaii and then we'll cut it there and then the rest of the videos will be all like Hawaii and Alani and fun. Yeah, so if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now because like he said, we like filmed so much stuff when we were there that these videos are just gonna keep coming. Yes. So now's the time, people. <laughs> Come with us on this adventure. Are you nervous? I am. So to fly to Hawaii, you need to do one of two things. You can either fly there and then quarantine for 14 days in your hotel room, which doesn't sound like a fun time at Alani to me, or you can take a COVID test within 72 hours of your flight and you'll get a barcode that you can present to them and then you're basically free to go about your business in Hawaii. So we chose option B. It's Monday morning and it's 5.30 in the morning and our flight is in two days and a couple hours. And the lab that we're going to will have results within 36 hours. So we're cutting it short, but it was th the earliest appointment we could get. And it's basically at this like laboratory near the airport. I'm scared that it, they're gonna do like the big thing up your nose. Yeah. Since the lockdown has started, We've been very, very safe. We've taken this very, very seriously. We wash our hands, we wear masks, we social distance. You know, we do go out now and again, but when we do, we're very, very, very careful. Yeah. So. We haven't gotten sick so far. We haven't gotten sick so far. Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, aside from the, the small possibility that we could have it and not know it, which sounds strange, I almost wish we were getting antibody testing, which would tell us if we actually had it. did have it yeah. at some point. I don't know, in my mind, I thought we were going into the lab, but it totally makes sense. I think most COVID tests are drive-through at this point. Yeah, it says shallow nasal swab test. No! Oh, no. But it's self-administered. So yeah. you're administering it yourself. What? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. 6 p.m. Or, or 6 a.m. <laughs> Yay, see you in Hawaii. <laughs> That's cute. Tilt your head back like you're looking at the ceiling. Gently insert the swab into one nostril. You can expect your results within 36 hours. It doesn't look that hard. It's not like what you thought where we had to like stick it all the way up. You just gotta stick it like I don't inch. know. That lady looks like she stuck it in pretty far. I said an inch. I know. That's a lot. It's that far. Uh, Biohazard. The swab is really small. Okay. So you want me to do it first? Sure. Okay. Which, uh, both noses, right? I'm going to do both noses. Okay. Uh, so to tilt your head back a little bit. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Uh, 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 <laughs> it's tickly. 
<laughs> you don't feel any pain, right? Just no, it's just like really tickly. My <laughs> eyes <laughs> water. Okay. Uh, next nostril. Next nostril. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. It just tickles. It's I'm like scared. uncomfortable. Okay. So tilt your head back. Okay. Is it in an inch? I can't. If you're not feeling uncomfortable, it's probably oh, yeah, not. Yeah, I in feel there. it. <laughs> <laughs> Should I do more on that oh, side? No, you did the, the right amount. Okay, great. That wasn't that bad. <laughs> Cause the, I mean, you were struggling, yeah. but it, it was definitely uncomfortable, but like the, the tip of it wasn't like very thick. So like you barely felt it unless like, I mean, you felt it, but like it wasn't as intrusive as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. It was, and it was easy, quick. Now we got to wait 36 hours to get our results, which is the night before we go, which is kind of nerve wracking. One eternity later. Okay, so we went for the COVID test this morning at 6 a.m. and it is now 9 p.m. and we have gotten the results. We oh my not, gosh, we got them so quickly. We have not looked at it. I'm nervous because I'm like, uh, well, what if, what we if just, we have it and we just you know, filmed a whole video about stuff we're bringing? <laughs> negative. Yay! Oh I'm my negative. god, you scared me. I'm like so nervous that I'm making mistakes. Okay, here it goes. Negative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is a like really scary process because we booked the hotels, we booked the flights, and you can't do this until 72 hours before. So you don't know. And even like we booked our thing, our our lab thing, and we were like, we're not gonna get it back in time. And we got it back in what? Like yeah. 12, 10 hours? They promised 36. Yeah. But we got it, yeah. You guys were negative. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't I, know why we're acting surprised with this. I, I think it's I think we're acting surprised because we're expecting something to go wrong. Do you know what I mean? Like we're those kind of people that were like, this is such a cool trip. Yeah. And we're expect like I haven't felt bad. You Neither haven't felt have bad. I. We like... didn't feel bad, but I was like, I could have it and just not know. I don't know. I yeah. could be one of those rare people that like doesn't have symptoms, but yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. So now we got to like upload that result to like the Hawaii government government website. Wear a mask people and wash <laughs> your hands. Social distance. If we could do it, you could do it. Yeah. So it's 7 a.m. and we're flying out today. Uh, we gotta upload all our stuff to this Safe Travels Hawaii website. But we, and we did that a day and a half before this flight, but it still says verification in progress for our COVID report. So that's a little worrying. Hopefully when we get to the airport, everything will be fine. The drive to the airport, you're like second guessing, did I forget this at home? Did I forget to pack this? I didn't think I had my shorts and I'm not sure if I have my sunglasses. So. You didn't bring your sunglasses to Hawaii. Uh, uh, I really hope I have them because otherwise I'm gonna need to buy a new pair of Ray-Bans when we're there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So we only paid like, I think 12 bucks a night to park here. And I was thinking like, after we do this trip, maybe we'll do a video like, showing everything we paid, how much it cost to go to Hawaii for 10 days. So maybe if we do that, why don't you comment below if you'd want to see that, number one. Number two, how much do you think it will cost us in the end total for the 10 days, including hotel, everything? And the person who gets the closest will we'll send you some. I think for any trip, I think I'm most nervous for the airport and seeing like how how safe is it gonna feel in the airport and on the airplane. Wow, there's like nobody here. Yeah, it's like empty here at the airport. We got through to security in like five seconds. I'm looking at the terminal now and it looks like a dead town. I know we're here at like 7.30 in the morning, but it looks completely empty. Oh, I think this is us. Number three. Lucky number three. On time. 57. Good to go. We got plenty of time to kill. 
The FAO Sports has a store? Weird. So I should buy that giant unicorn? Do you think that would count as like my carry-on? <laughs> How many people do you think actually come out of an airplane and they're like, I'm gonna buy this gigantic unicorn. Yeah, this place is like completely empty. It's the oh, least, this least- This is awesome. Least... This is awesome, man. Yeah. I mean, I was very stressed out about being in the terminal, but I mean, if it stays like this until we leave, I'm right, okay. Seems like for the most part, everybody is physical distancing. Everybody has masks on, unless they're eating or drinking. You know, this is the nightmare that I expected it to be, so. However, it does seem like everybody's flying to Honolulu. Everybody's like at our gate. Yeah. 14 days self-quarantine at the address provided unless you have completed a COVID-19 test within 72 hours prior to departure with a negative result. So they're actually boarding from the back of the plane forward instead of how they traditionally do it from the front back. They even have the physical distance markers in the gangway. You know what this makes me miss is going on Smuggler Front. Oh, I get to be the pilot. <laughs> gave us these hand sanitizing wipes when we got on the plane. We're we supposed to use these to sanitize our hands or sanitize like... I think we're supposed to area. sanitize our area. Okay. I grabbed two. <laughs> <laughs> Never have two of any, right? I say I love the Hawaiian music that's being played in Hawaiian Airlines as, as you board the plane and there's actually on the screens you get to see them actually playing it. Now they have like these epic drone shots of Hawaii and there's this guy playing guitar in on like the beach. Look at that. That's gonna be us. How awesome is that guy? It's literally gonna be us. Except I, wore, I brought all black. <laughs> yeah, neither of us are wearing white. Oh, do people in Hawaii wear white? Do we screw up? Yeah, we're gonna stick out like sore thumbs. So our flight isn't completely packed, but I would not say it's empty by any means. Yeah, I was expecting like every other row to be empty and every other seat. It's not like Disney World. It isn't? No. It's okay, we're going to keep our masks on the whole time. I think we'll be okay. They handed us this form, this State of Hawaii Department of Agriculture form for plants, for cats, dogs, birds. Yeah, we've got to claim our goat and the fruit that's in our, in our luggage. Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to smuggle it in to Hawaii. Smuggling all the goats. For your comfort and safety, please fasten your seatbelt. Insert the flat end into the buckle. Pull the strap to tighten. To release, lift the top portion of the buckle and pull away. QR code, a part of like the government safer travels, all the stuff that we had to fill out just to come to Hawaii, yeah. just to prove that we're COVID free and we're ready to party. What's strange is this is the normal line and we were asked like, are you going to Alani? And they were like, okay, come with us. And we're 
we're skipping, or I'm not sure if we're skipping, we're going someplace else. So Koalina, which is the resort that Alani is part of, it's part of the island that they're part of, it has their own table. So everybody else has to go to those tables over there. But we get to go to the like the super cool. It's so weird to go to the baggage claim. You have to go outside the airports. Please wash your hands frequently. Like it says Loco Maki. Maybe that means to share with each other. Olakino Miyakai. It means to live healthily. Healthy. <laughs> Nailed it. We booked a rental car off of Hotwire, which was a really cheap deal. The catch was you didn't know what rental car agency we were renting from. And you find out afterwards it was thrifty. You know, a good deal is a good deal. I think I see it. <laughs> yeah, we were thinking about getting like a convertible or a Jeep or something, but the weather kind of was like all over the place. I just don't think we're gonna ever use that, so. Yeah, so the Ford Fiesta will do fine. Oh yeah. I know you guys are on the edge of your seats. Found my sunglasses. <laughs> Where were they? They were somewhere like buried in my luggage. So I am ready to ride, baby. Let's hit it. And we're gonna stop it here for now, but I promise you in the next video, we will arrive at Alani. We're gonna have all sorts of fun Hawaiian adventures and I can't wait for you to come, come along with us. Yeah, but before we go, I wanna just give a quick shout out to some of our Patreon members. That includes Karen, Marlon Gutierrez, Leslie Beavers, and Angel Ganey. Mahalo, you guys, thank you so much. And everybody out there, thank you for watching. Yes. We'll see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Aloha.